The views expressed in this video are that of a hobbyist, not of a business owner or a commercial operation. Clear as mud? Hey there, it's me again. I had to make a couple changes here and I'm doing this uh, video for the 80 some odd people that are actually following along. Those are people who uh, either bought the 3D model files, the license to print those, or uh, just bought the towers. But for the 80... 86? I can't remember what it was last time I looked. It was 80 something. Um, for those people that are following along, I had to change things a little bit because the length of these little fittings right here throws a big monkey wrench into the process. If you are going to do these uh, 16 inches apart, um, that makes these outside rows right even with this bolt here. And this is not going to work. So what I did is just pull things inward just a little bit uh, so that the rows of towers are actually as you go, you know, left to right, they're 14 inches and 5 eighths, 14 and 5 eighths inches apart. They're still going to be 16 inches apart from front to back. Now, I'll explain an easy way to do the measurements on this. You won't have to, like, bust your brain or hammer your head against the wall trying to figure out the math. Um... From this end down to this end is 57 inches. Divide that by two, that's 28.5, 28 and a half inches. So here is our center line, 28 and a half inches from this end over here. All right, now to find the position of the first row of towers, we're going to go over here 22 inches and do that the same on the other end. Go from our center all the way over here, 22 inches. Put a mark on both ends. So far so good? Good! Alright, now measure in 14 inches and 5 eighths. 14 and 5 eighths inches. However you like to verbally represent that, that's where the other mark goes. So this is actually really easy. Um, there, wouldn't you know it, a train decides to come through right at this time. I'll get this over with. But you go ahead and mark those. I would suggest using a straight edge on the pipes and then using a drill press to make sure that all of your holes are perfectly uh, symmetrical vertically so that when you go to put the cross members apart or on here you know going from the front to the back everything just fits together better or easily I'll, I'll just say that yeah it fits together easily that's the key phrase fits together easily all right so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off, and then I'm going to answer one more question here. When Burlington Northern slash Santa Fe shuts the hell up, good grief. Uh -huh. They wonder why so many people in this part of Nebraska have Xanax prescriptions. Hmm, and so they can sleep through that shit. Oops, I said another word that's going to give me a thumbs down. Big deal. All right. Um, I had another question. People kept saying, well, what's that noise in the background? It sounds like somebody doing bong hits, man. Oh, geez. All right. I'll show you what's up. I have in my tilapia tank now, I posted a video on this years and years and years ago. Okay, three years ago. I have a top skimmer in here that works on a siphon method. Hear that? So every time the water level jumps up really high or high enough to go over the top of that PVC, it creates a siphon. That was a really unhappy tilapia. 
And that's where you hear the funny little bubbling noises come from. And then when you hear, hear the loud gurgling, all of those bubbles that go in there. Well, I have the cover on here so you can't see it, but I showed that the other day on the other video. Uh, those bubbles come up in the sump tank. And, well, can't hear it right now. Probably because that Burlington Northern Santa Fe train uh, is still rattling through the neighborhood. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to cut this off. And like I said, I just posted this for the people that are following along. Um, this is strictly for the people who have paid for the towers or paid for the 3D models. Um, if someone's just cruising for free information, sorry, this isn't going to work out well for you. So, I'm going to cut this off now. Take it easy, people. Bye-bye.